Good evening. It's an honor to present this award to Representative Sean Patrick Maloney. Some of you might know Sean from his work in the Clinton White House, fighting for marriage equality in New York, or his recent election as first openly gay uh, congressman from the state of New York. I, on the other hand, know him as dad. In his first four months as congressman, he has already faced a number of challenges successfully. So he's the dad I call when I have any problems. Recently, I was, uh, sorry. Recently, I was struggling uh, with future plans uh, in regards to school, um, work and trying to find a new apartment. Sean, being the uh, being thoughtful and thorough, suggested I move back home, save, and focus on graduating college. That's the kind of man Sean is, caring, ambitious, and family-oriented. Um, he is a, not only a guide in my life, but has paved the way for gay men and women to run for political office. There are now seven openly gay members of Congress, and hopefully many more to come. He is a true trailblazer, and this is why this award is so fitting for him. Now I'd like to introduce my father, my mentor, and my friend, Sean Patrick Maloney. Well, hello, and thank you to all my friends at uh, Live Out Loud. Thank you, Jesus, uh, and my kids for being there on my behalf. I hope that was a kind introduction. Uh, remember, they know me, so uh, I hope they didn't tell you too much. Um, I, I, I love you all, and I'm so sorry I can't be with, uh, with you today. Uh, Leo and all of the friends I have at Live Out Loud, thank you for the work you do. You know, when I got elected to Congress uh, as the first uh, openly gay person ever elected from the state of New York and the first gay person to ever beat an incumbent uh, from a part of the country where they said, you know, people like us can't win. A kid named uh, Gregorio came up to me and he told me a story and he said, you know, when I was uh, a teenager, uh, I was in a bookstore in Texas where I grew up. And I remember being just at the end of my rope and thinking that there was no room for someone like me and that I couldn't be who I was. And I was so depressed about it that I was actually thinking about suicide. I was thinking about just ending my life because I just couldn't imagine how I could go on. He said, I was in a bookstore and I was literally thinking about this. And, I, and there was a magazine in the store and there was a, and there was a story about you and Randy and Jesus and Daly and Essie and I read it, and, and I stood there and I started crying because it was the first time in my life that I thought, uh, maybe I can be who I am, and maybe it'll be okay. And that's what I'm doing in Congress, and that's what all of you are doing uh, today, supporting Live Out Loud. Um, you're, you're, you're making a statement that, that it's okay, that there's not a thing in the world wrong with you, that you can be who you are. So I wanna congratulate uh, Live Out Loud, I wanna congratulate uh, your other honorees, and especially the kids who you help and, and the scholarships they're winning, um, it, it, the work matters. And thank you for uh, acknowledging me as a trailblazer, but it's really all of you who make possible what I do here in Congress. Um, the fact that I'm here, the fact that I can be who I am, and the fact that we can fight together for everything we care about, the kind of country we want to live in. Um, that's what today's about, that's what the award's about, and I accept it on behalf of all of you who are doing the hard work of equality. Thank you. Uh, thank you to my kids. Uh, thank you for this, this terrific honor. And I wish I could be there with you and I'll, I'll see you all soon. Sean Patrick Maloney is the best dad on earth.